remember a time when all you wanted was out of the mob. Yeah, and I got out for, what, 20 minutes? But don't use me as the shiny example of the guy who went legit. My attempt was an epic fail. I'm just asking you to do the right thing. Michael's in a very vulnerable place right now, and I think he's trying to find a way to regain some of that power. And it's easy for you to take advantage of that situation and get one up on Sonny or piss Sonny off, whatever your agenda is. I'm just asking you to show some humanity and show some restraint and leave Michael out of it. You know, of all people, I would have expected you to understand. Understand what? I'm trying to help Michael. You know, if you come clean now, before the process... Do you remember why you liked me in the first place? Vividly, you were crazy and reckless, and exactly what I needed at the time. You know what else I was? Naive. I still believe that I had a say in my own destiny. Well, you do. We all do. No, we don't. We're all products of our environment. Okay, look at the way I grew up. I had a lunatic crime boss for a father, a sister who was troubled at best. I was isolated in this home where my father tried to shoot me and ended up shooting and killing my mother instead. And all the while, business went on. That's horrible. No, it's worse than horrible. It's primal. It's in your blood. You don't get to cross over to the straight side. You don't get to put on some funeral suit and go take a job behind a desk in a high rise somewhere. It's your lifeline. You carry it. You make it sound hopeless. No, there is an upside, just like there is with everything else. You trade safe and secure for money, for power, freedom. Freedom to cause havoc. If necessary, sure. What happened to the guy that wanted nothing to do with this business? He opened up a chop shop and almost choked on the fumes, so he went back to what he knew. Do you remember when my father was sent to prison, I took over the business? I fit in. It's the only place I fit in. Okay, that makes me very sad for you. But it still has nothing to do with Michael. Did you see? Michael is me all over again. You think you can just walk? Michael grew up the same way I did. He knows how this business works from the inside. He saw things by the time he was five, whether he consciously remembers them or not, that most adults never see in an entire lifetime, unless they're cops or coroners. It hardens you. It skews your perception of reality. It shows you that, that both sides can be just as corrupt. Oh, come on. You can do better than that tired argument that the other side is just as bad. That's self-justifying crap. Criminals break laws. Not all cops are bad. I know because I happen to be in love with one. Yeah, one who went by the book and saw his little brother sent to prison for his trouble. Okay, there are two choices. Okay. You leave your fate to a faithless law system, or you can make your own justice. The choice is pretty easy for me, and I'm guessing it's getting pretty easy for Michael. Why do you get to decide for Michael? I don't get to decide for him. He gets to decide for him. Isn't that why we're having this conversation? No, we're having this conversation because he's 19 years old and he's already been to prison. If he starts up things with you and he gets caught for doing something illegal, he will go back. You don't want to carry that guilt around. It's heavy. You felt a lot of it when he was shot. I, don't you want something better for Michael than what you have? I'd say I've done pretty well. Yeah, okay, you have a nice apartment and nice things. That's mob money. That doesn't mean that you're happy. Is anybody really happy? I'm happy. Know? Yes, I have problems. Fine, but, but I like myself, okay? And I, I can meet my own eyes in the mirror. I thought that you could do that too, but you've resurrected this attitude like you don't give a damn about anything, but the truth is you're lost. Well, that's your opinion. Don't make it like I'm lying to myself. You went on trial for a murder to protect me. That's not the act of someone who doesn't give a damn. I always gave a damn about you. Good. Then listen to me. Michael has a soul. If you want to help him, you leave him alone. Join you? Uh, it appears you already have. Well, if you want me to leave, then I... No, 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 you're, you're fine. I can use the company. Is everything okay? Not really. No. Is there anything that I can help with? Kick me. What? No, seriously, kick me. I deserve it. Okay. First of all, I would never kick you, even if you did deserve it. And second, I doubt that you do. I'm sitting here like a selfish ass, feeling neglected and misunderstood while everyone around me is bleeding and devastated. You know, it's just, it's nauseatingly self-involved. In case you haven't noticed, I'm the queen of selfish. I feel sorry for myself all day, every day. You know, I know it's pointless and shallow, but I do it anyway. So, feel free to wallow without being judged. You know, I, uh, I like to think of myself as a generous person. 
Yeah, I'm not a do-gooder by any stretch, but I, I do lend a hand when there's need of one. I try to forgive the faults in others because I have so, so many of my own. I agree with all that. So when, uh, when Maya got a call from her family that she was needed back home, I was more than supportive. I, I drove her to the airport and I wished her well. Wait, Maya's gone? I had no idea he was going to... is an exemplary human being. She's smart, loyal, ambitious, and, you know, part of what drives her is that she's a ward. You know, she wants to live up to the family legacy, and so it only makes sense that when her family needed her, she'd be there. What happened? <sighs> no idea. You know, the wards appear to be closing ranks, and uh, no outsider is welcome. And that definitely includes her fly-by-night husband, who I am increasingly sure she's neglected to mention. Maya's family doesn't know that you're her husband? Uh, no, she never brought up introducing me to the family. And any time the wards come up, she changes the subject. Maybe she's embarrassed. Yeah, that would make sense. Their whole family are doctors and lawyers. <laughs> What's she going to say? This is my husband, the sometime bartender. I didn't mean that Maya would be ashamed of you. I mean, how could she be? You're awesome. Well, that's very kind. It's also very true. It might care a little bit that Maya got so drunk that she accidentally married you without knowing. <laughs> and if I did that, um, my mother would lose her mind. <laughs> As opposed to your father, who would actually just kill the scoundrel who took advantage of you. I would never let my father kill you, Ethan. Oh, wait, hold it right there. Now, who says I am the scoundrel who hypothetically gets you, drags you to Vegas for drunken matrimony? And, you know, now that I think about it, if anybody did that to you, I would kill them myself. Right, so, no, you're not going to Vegas ever. I forbid it. Okay. Okay. I'm glad that's settled, because I was sort of here myself, and I, you know, I'm... I do want to protect you, but uh, I'm, I don't, I'm not a rescuer of damsels in distress. But you are. You rescue me all the time. Uh, well, no, if you're referring to the aftermath of the Sonny Brenda wedding... I'm referring to everything. The way you listen to me, how you don't judge, um, and how you forgave me after that lie that almost got you killed. Okay, okay. stop it right there. You're making me sound disgustingly noble, when really I am just a, a liar and a thief, and I wouldn't trust me as far as you could throw me, and I get... Oh, okay. Oh, what was that for? I thought you said you weren't going to kick me. I changed my mind. You shouldn't do that to yourself. I was just being honest. Well, I happen to think you're amazing. Well, okay. I don't know. If it's the kind words or the searing pain in my leg, but I'm no longer wallowing in self-pity, so thank you, I think. You're welcome. This is impossible. Oh, this place is just like the Garden of Eden after Pentonville. <laughs> But you got a lot to learn about care and cultivation. Luckily, I am here to guide you. How the hell did this happen? I'd say too little light and not enough nutrients. Forget the damn plants. How'd you get out of prison? Watch your tone. And your boogie boo boo baby. They can hear you. Would you break out? Absolutely not. What do you think I am? A common criminal? Justice was served. And that is just the beginning. Michael's in trouble, I need your help. 